Good morning, my friends. I hope you have found some things to be useful that we have been approaching with mindfulness. With a focus on moving through into the next transition in our culture and in our lives, both from the pandemic and from the political environment into a new way. And today, we will sit with the idea of allowing transformation, which in mindfulness means to take stock of the person that you are right now and the person that you are in the process of becoming, of this time of moving through on your values, your compassion, your courage, your willingness to get unstuck and create a new meaning or renew a meaning that you have not been practicing for a while or continue with a meaning you have found during this period of chaos. And so we turn to allowing transformation. It's important to hear that just the way it's stated, that we allow transformation. We can't produce it. We have to allow it. It's kind of like sleep in that way. We can't produce, go to sleep, and have ourselves fall asleep. We have to create the conditions. A bed, warm enough, clean enough, enclosed, comfortable to sleep in, quiet, and preferably dark. And as we do this, sleep comes because we have created the conditions. Meditation is a lot like that, too. We can't really tell ourselves, okay, go meditate and have it happen. We have to create the conditions of breath, steadiness, gratitude, openness, and curiosity. And then that meditative mindful state emerges from within. Allowing transformation is quite a bit like that. So let us be seated comfortably and gently with a curious and open mind and gentle, regular breathing. Not trying to change anything in the way that your breath is moving right now, but simply to notice. I notice My breath starts in my belly. I notice I am breathing through my nose. I notice I'm trying to control my breath and letting go of that control. I am here in the present moment. Transformation is a process of letting go. Often the most fruitful transformation emerges out of loss or difficulty as we look forward and begin to reconstruct the meaning in our life. Reconstruction of meaning is an action, a plan with a goal. Transformation, on the other hand, is a mind that lets you see how you process what's coming at you. It is a change at the very heart of the way that you receive, hear, and pass on each moment of your experience. And because of that, it's a little harder to keep track of. However, this practice of mindfulness is how we shine the light on what is present and create the steadiness, curiosity, willingness to use this time of moving through in order to allow a much broader way of seeing and connecting with what has value in our lives and what we need to grieve in order to move. Some of this should be familiar to you from our mindfulness practice over the past many sessions. Mindfulness practice brings about the capacity to move between attachment and detachment to those things which are the obstacles 
or the stories that we tell ourselves in our lives that keep us very small. So true transformation is the process of letting go. It might be looked at this way. Transformation begins when something falls apart, something old and familiar. And the discomfort or pain of something old falling apart is chaos, which invites our soul or our heart to listen at a deeper level if we allow it to pay attention to what it is that we are yearning for and what is the nature of what we feel or fear about what we have lost. And sometimes the process of letting go is so uncomfortable that we cling like our life depended on it to anger, suffering, and efforts to control the way that the relationships that are important to us go along. We resist change. At other times, for other people, it may be more familiar to simply take the leap and find yourself in mid-air, wondering what was I thinking to let go of that. Something like this is coming about for me as I've come to see clearly during this pandemic my attachment to being known and seen as helpful when someone is struggling. And I began to look at that mindfully during this pandemic time. Half the time I'll jump in without invitation and catch somebody before they even know that they're falling. And as I sat with this, it came to my awareness that this is not respectful to jump in and do something like that when not asked. I can tell you this has shaken up the core of my identity as a person who seeks to love well. To jump into and interrupt another person's experience is simply not respectful, I now see. To abandon the desire to help and any wisdom I have about being able to do so is also not respectful of them or me. And so I sit with this and reflect mindfully. And because I am a praying person, I pray quietly for a new transformation that integrates these two things, for my ego to get out of the way, to learn to love more in a way that gives space and presence at the same time. I share this at some length with the detail because I wanted to put into some words the meaning of transformation. And it is a process that requires deep mindfulness, love, and self-honesty. It can't really be defined by outcome. That would be change, not transformation. And essentially we know that we're deep in the process of transformation when we're feeling very uncomfortable and somewhat shaken by what we are beginning to see inside from mindfulness practice that lies underneath what we have defended or denied or practiced in a way that's more self-seeking than we had thought ourselves to be. What have you noticed under the changing and chaotic conditions of the pandemic and political environment within yourself that looks kind of ugly, even though that was not your intention? And what do you need to let go of in order to make space for transformation of mind, body, and spirit to arise? We'll talk a little more about this in our next meditation. Asking yourself, what do I need to let go of? And what is that like to begin to do so? This time, it's not taking it out with you, my friends. It's taking it in deeper and spending time to create those conditions for transformation. Namaste. Amen. <laughs>